Hello everyone, I am Ritesh and in this video I will show you how to connect Firebase with Android Studio. This is the part 1 of Firebase for Android Developer Series. So let's get started. So let's start the video with what is Firebase. Firebase is a service offered by Google with over 18 services. So let me show you the pricing page of Firebase. As you can see, Firebase offers all the services offered by Firebase. We count all of them. There are over 18 services. So with Firebase, like if we, uh, we create a project, and let's say you have to uh, app for Android and app for iOS, and you, uh, your user creates the account on your Android app, then the users will also be able um, the users will be able to sign using their iOS app as well. Firebase is not specific to Android developers, uh, Android apps. We will make a video on how to uh, authenticate users with uh, Firebase, okay? So let me explain all the services offered by Firebase, so easy one by one. So A-B testing uh, is like, uh, if you want to test which feature is better than other, or we want to test like how many ads you just, uh, users would like to watch at max, while not, uh, you know, deteriorating the user experience. Next we'll see analytics. So analytics, as uh, you know, Google Analytics, is the same thing, we are able to track uh, how your users are using the app, like uh, where users are spending most of their time and what they like, what feature they are you know, they are using the most, all of the things, what issues they are facing, and all of these. Okay, so AppTag is like AppTag is security service like antivirus. It checks if the users are using are legit or some bots or not. Now let's move on to app distribution. App distribution will uh, unlike the testing services by Firebase. You can test uh, test with a variety of testers per box. And then comes authentication, as you know, authentication uh, if you want to sign in your user with email and password. Okay, so let's create, create a new project. Go to console.firebase.google.com Then uh, you should log in with your Google account. Create a new project. So we'll give it our uh, Firebase continue so if you want to uh, enable google analytics just can enable it and then select the google analytics account you can create a new google analytics account with the same email address if you want but we'll go with uh, the default account and let's create a project so our firebase project is ready let's continue so you can see you can add your iOS app or your android app or your website or your unity game flutter app Okay, so you know Firebase project is specific for each project. Let's say it is Uber, Uber, and you uh, Uber has like an iOS app, an Android app, maybe a separate app for the diverse. So you can create all the apps with uh, link all the apps here. Okay, so we'll be connecting our Android app. So let me create an Android before. So let me create an Android project. We'll go with uh, this is the Jetpack Compose Android uh, Android app, and but we'll go with uh, XML one. Okay, Firebase. Hey, we'll go with Kotlin and Kotlin DS the defaults. So our uh, Android app is ready. Let's connect it with Firebase. So it's asking about the package name. Let me show you how you can find that. So for the package name. Uh, here is the package and then we see new man activity itself. Paste it over here and then put the name on the app and then the result. So you need to find the signing key. So what is signing key? Signing key is like uh, an ID of an app. So it's like fingerprint. It's unique to every app generated. It's generated through Android Studio. Let me show you how I can find that. Let us go to Gradle. And then uh, it's inside the task, but uh, let's change some settings so that I can find that. We might face the same issue. Click, uh, check this box and apply and OK. Then what you have to do, click over here to sync with Gradle files. And it will start syncing. Uh, OK, so if we got it. Then go to Android and here you can see the signing report. Double click on it and 
you will see the SH1 key and SH256 key. This is the one uh, we need. Just copy it and paste it over here. Then register F. Next, download the JSON file and you can see where you need to put it. Okay, let me show you. Open the file and you go to Android Studio and from here select project, file this save and here uh, this is where you need to put it. Okay, so I'll grab the file, drag it to here and refactor. Okay, so I can see the JSON inside the F folder as it's shown. Okay. Okay. So let's click on next and uh, so we go we are into the Kotlin JSON. If you want it goofy, we just need to add this instead of this. So here we need to add this. So paste it and sync now. Okay, so next we need to add these. We need to add these. Let me change it to Android so we can see clearly. Here uh, we added this plugin in the first project level. Next we need to add it, uh, the rest in the module level. So I'll copy all of this. Pass it over here. I will open my clipboard. It's actually already there. I am sorry for that. Okay. Next, we need to add these. So, copy both of these. And then paste it inside uh, this dependent section. And sync. So our Android type is connected with Android uh, file So thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.